coming to you from the Orange Room in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. This is It's Only Food with your host, Chef John Polite. Plain Food Fest, and what I have is the buffalo hog wings with uh, Korean barbecue sauce. So we're going to go into our walk in here, and I'm going to show you a little bit about what we got going on. As you can see down here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six cases of the buffalo wings. I'm sorry, hog wings. I've done a show on these before. All these are the little pork shanks, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to have time to actually show you the prep work that I do for it. What I do show, but I'm going to show you the kukachang sauce that I made. It's a Korean barbecue sauce, and we will get into what is in here later. But mostly it's uh, chili paste, rice vinegar. Uh, well, um, it's 5.30 in the morning, so I'm not quite awake yet, guys. But uh, we've got all this stuff going on. We've got a big day ahead of us. What I'm going to try to do... Well, let's go back here and see what this looks like. What we're going to try to do when it gets... It's 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning right now. I don't want to pull all this stuff out and start prepping yet, because we're not leaving the building till about 2. But I'm going to sheet them all up. They're pre-cooked. I'm going to sheet them all up on sheet trays and then get them in the oven. And then I'm going to hit them with the sauce and then put them into the pans and everything. We've got chafing dishes, we've got the tent, we've got to haul all that stuff out to the park where we're having this great uh, Blaine Food Fest, which is raising money for, I believe, Toys for, Toys for Joy this year for kids that don't have things. Uh, great cause. Take a look around the old kitchen while you're here. where it all happens. This is before the crew gets in here and we get really busy. And I don't want to know if I want to be walking around with my camera. There's for everybody that loves bacon. All right, can't beat that, huh? So, I will try to get in here, but when we're, uh, maybe not while we're panning it up and cooking it and stuff, but while we're um, loading it up, getting it in the truck. And definitely when we get to the park, I'm gonna, be filming all this. This is a new experience for me guys, so just hang in there, but it's kind of cool because you're going to see a lot of neat stuff. We've got a band and tons of people, tons of food. I'm going to try to get around with the camera and talk to people. So we'll be back. Okay, as you can see, we've got them all panned up now. We've got about 600 orders. Six sheet pans with about, so we'll get these cooking in the oven, get them browned off nice and crispy because my oven does have a setting for broil and actually a deep fry setting too where I can get these crispy. The only thing I worry about is we're gonna actually be putting them in a hot box covered with sauce on them so they're not gonna be crispy because if they're gonna sit in that sauce and covered in a hot box, the steam is gonna make all that nice crispiness. This is gonna kinda deteriorate. I want them to be, to be crispy, but unfortunately we're not cooking them at the food show. We're just hauling them cooked. So, uh, anyway, we'll try to get back to them when we get them in the oven. Thanks. Okay, there they are. These are the pork wings. They've been in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. As you can see, they're, whoops. <laughs> you can see the bone falls right off there. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them from here, we're gonna put them in the gukachang sauce, mix them all up, then we're gonna go into a pan, and then we're gonna let them cool, we're gonna wrap them up, and have them ready to go back in the oven to heat up before we leave to go to the party, to leave to go to the food fest. Okay, now there is the finished product. This is what's gonna go with us to the food show. 
I am going to hit it with the green onions and the sesame seeds before while we're serving it so it's got the garnish on there. This is sauce and ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to let these all cool down. I've got many more pans of these to do, but I'm just giving you an example of what we're doing. We're going to heat them all up, get them in the pans, get them sauced, and then let them all cool down, wrap them up, and have them ready to go back into the oven right before we load up. So we want to get them back up to temperature before we put them in our hot carts and haul them to the food show. And then from there we'll put them into chafing dishes to keep hot. Uh, we are being regulated by the state on this and the county, so we have to do everything by the book. I'm actually taking a permit with us. We have to show the county health department when they come walking by everybody's uh, booth with the food. Hopefully they'll let us film that. You never know. I like to keep a low profile when it comes to that. Uh, but uh, that's it in a nutshell. We will be back, hopefully. I've got my order coming in today, too, and I've got the rest of my crew coming in in about 25 minutes, so I don't want to be in the way and on film because they get annoyed when I do that, I'm sure. I would. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll get this all wrapped up and in the pans and wrapped up and ready to go, and hopefully we'll start filming again while we're loaded up into our hot carts. So, thanks for watching. We'll be right back. Okay, so we've got them all panned up. We're going to let them cool. And we'll wrap them up and get them in the oven to get re-thermed for service. Okay, we see we've got them all wrapped, ready to go. And we're just going to keep these cold until we need to get them in the oven, probably about an hour before we leave. And then we will get them up to temp, put them in our hot box. Meanwhile, I'm going to get the prep going. For the garnish, the green onions, the carrots, sesame seeds, and go over my list 20 times before we leave. So I got time to do that, put away the order, do the schedule, do the order, do a whole bunch of other stuff. So, all right, everything's in the oven. So the next move will be to get them hot in a holding temperature and then transfer them into our travel containers, tr transfer them into our travel containers which we will load into the back of the truck and that will be the last thing that we do. Right now we're just going to get everything else that we've got in the truck up to the park, get the tent set up, the tables, the chafing dishes, and then we'll come back and get the food last. So we've got them in these carts that we use, they're hot boxes. And we put everything in there. You can still feel the heat. It's hot. Keeping it 160 degrees at a nice holding heat. So until we get them transferred inside and then we'll put them in the steam tables and be ready for service holding at 160. So, Okay, now this is the park where we were supposed to do the uh, food fest today. As you can see, it's empty. As you can see, it looks like it's getting ready to storm. It already did rain once today for about an hour. So they have decided to move it into the Fogarty Arena, which is across the uh, lot, I guess, parking lot. It's an ice arena. We are in Minnesota, so it's an ice arena. Not a nice arena, but an ice arena where they have curling and hockey and all kinds of stuff. But usually the, we're well, at this walking trail right here is usually where the vendors set up right here in the grass. You got your table and your tent and it goes all the way down and there's food all the way down that side and food all the way down this side and they have the bandstand right here not by the porta potties but right there before in the grass where they have the band pretty good rock and roll i don't know what they're going to do this year but uh, it'll be interesting we'll try to get that on film i uh got my food set up i'm going to get it into the chafing dishes but i just wanted to show everybody this is where we usually do it outside but the weather is looking pretty bad. It's very humid. The clouds are moving in and uh, it's starting to pick up in way of wind. So we'll uh, get back inside and we'll show you some more of that. So this is the finished product right there. I've got sesame seeds and green onion on there. I've got chafing dishes, they're hot. And then our spread, we got Bambi over here working the table. We're going to put uh, three or four out every time people come through. 
as you can see, we're starting to fill up. Lots and lots of people, so we're going to be busy. So I will try to keep in touch. If not, we will see you at the end of this. Yeah, it's starting to storm pretty good now. The rain's coming down. It's windy. People are showing up. I do not know if the general public has been informed that we're inside, so if it does pour, are we going to have people here? <laughs> so, all the vendors are ready to go. Everybody's got their food going. It looks pretty good. So, we'll go inside and get us ready, hopefully. So, I don't want to be the last one ready to go. So, that folks right there is a storm system heading our way. We are right, point to where we're at, baby. So, yeah, that's kind of right in the middle of it. So, hang on to your skibbies, people. Focus. Alright, so this is Bambi. She's my lovely assistant. She's been helping out. And she got everything set up. She's got the pig wing right there with the Korean barbecue sauce on it. But everybody say hi to Bambi and say thanks Bambi for working with John. You did a great job. Yay Bambi. Alright. Dying down. Things are getting better. We had a good time. Sold a lot of things. But we didn't sell anything. We gave it away. This is from Q Bites right across from us. They brought this over. It's a spring roll with some sweet and sour sauce. And that's a cheese ball with, I'm assuming, I don't know what kind of sauce that is. But so we're kind of, everything starts clearing out. We're going to start sharing food with everybody else. We all bring around everything and we try each other's food. So can't wait for that because I haven't eaten anything all day. This is, uh, I got it focus here. Acapulco brought this over. It's a little tiny taco with shredded chicken and some guacamole in there and of course lettuce and tomato. Awesome, awesome stuff. And we got the, somebody brought over the spicy, ow, hot, yeah they are hot too. Spicy chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. There are vendors here, I can't get in there, it's really hot. So, but I will try this out after it cools off. And right here we've got from, oh my gosh, I forgot their name. Old Piper Inn, yeah, it's a shredded pork taco with a salsa verde sauce. Looks really good. I love the little tiny taco shells on there. Those are just cool. So, we're giving our food up to everybody, all the other vendors, and all the other vendors are sharing what they got, so it's a pretty cool experience. So, we'll keep you going. So, this is the curling club where they practice their curling. I don't, it's an Olympic sport. Pretty cool. June in Minnesota. But I'm glad they moved us inside. Everybody's enjoying themselves. I don't want to walk through that crowd with a camera. People get kind of weird. All right, well, we're hitting a gold mine here with all this free food, so I'm gonna show you what we got next here. We got some Lian Chins. Looks like we got a barbecue pork. Uh, I'm sorry, I've been serving barbecue pork all night. That's not what I know what to say. That is a chicken wing. And then we've got some, it looks like uh, some chow mein meat in there as well. So it's good. We bring food to them and they give us food back and we take it back to our table where we're serving and we eat. As you can see, it's been busy and we are out of focus. As you can see, we've been kind of busy. Bambi's eating. So, <laughs> but busy. Say it again, Bambi. Thumbs up. She can't do it with her mouth full. So. Alright, but yep, we're having a good time. We're eating now. It's kind of slowing down, as you can see. On our end, I showed you the hall earlier and it's busier than crap, so yeah, it's slowing down and now we all get to meet each other and eat and I'm going to dig into this wing here and uh, I'll see you right back. Oh, as you can see behind me, it's kind of dying down. 
I'm kind of uh, fuzzy, I haven't got it to focus yet. I'm still trying to figure out my new camera. Um, we're breaking down a little bit. Everybody's leaving, so all those vendors are going back and forth, giving their plates of what we've got, and we're going to each booth that's around us, and they're giving us food back. So it's kind of cool. We get to meet each other, exchange cards, information, uh, menus, stuff like that, locations, to see where they're at, what time they open. They give us a little, uh, you know, gift certificates to their shops and stuff like that. So uh, we're just going around. We're getting everything to eat, changing our food, making some friends. So I'll try to show you as much food as I can. All right, well, we're cleaning up. We're getting ready to head out, so I gotta pack up my camera. Uh, it's been fun. This has been an awesome experience. I hope uh, I was successful in filming it. Excuse me, success, successful in filming it to allow you to watch and enjoy in the fun. So uh, don't forget to share this, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. And it's been great. Thanks a lot for watching. It's only food. Have a great day. Bye-bye.